Hey guys, Seth Lee here back with another Apex Legends video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now in today's video, we're gonna be going over a pretty big Havoc bug. I'm pretty sure it's a bug with the Select Fire, not the Turbocharger, but the Select Fire, the pretty much the attachment that nobody uses on the Havoc. So I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly what it is and how to do it. Honestly, it's a little bit OP and I really do think they should fix this as soon as possible. I'm not really too sure how long it's been around, but I did find out about this through Reddit. I'll make sure to link the Reddit post down below. Somebody, somebody actually posted telling everybody about it and I was pretty surprised when I first did see that. But honestly, it is a bit useful, so maybe you guys should use it until it does get fixed or abuse it until they actually fix it so they know this needs to be fixed because it is a little bit OP if you do know about it. So let's go ahead and get normal attachments. As you guys know, there is a bit of a delay with the Havoc and obviously the Devotion before you can shoot without the turbocharger. And obviously the turbocharger takes away that delay, which is pretty nice like this, instantly shoot. So the turbocharger is a bit hard to find typically because it is a legendary attachment, but the select fire is a lot more common. And if you guys didn't know, the select fire allows you to basically shoot the havoc like a sniper. And it's honestly really useful. I've never once actually used the select fire besides when it first came out back in season one when the havoc was new. But there's a little trick with the select fire that you can do with the havoc to make it pretty much like a turbocharger, but you kind of have to do the trick every time you do want to fire. So it is a bit annoying, but it is honestly really useful and OP if you don't have the turbocharger. So all you guys have to do is you switch it over to single fire, you charge it up, and then halfway through you switch to auto and it looks really cool, honestly. It's got like a spinning electric type thing going on on the front and then it just automatically shoots. So there you go guys basically you can use the select fire to turn it into a turbocharger all you guys got to do is charge it up and switch halfway through right before you're about to shoot and it comes up you guys will know it will be working when it has that circle around the front of the havoc and then there you go you can shoot it fully like it was a turbocharger. I definitely just wanted to show this for you guys because I think Respawn needs to know about this and fix it. Hopefully they will fix it soon, but until then I might just be using it. I might just have to, but if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out a ton. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell because I am almost at 100K subs. We did just hit 90K subs. Thank you guys so much. And about only 35% of my viewers are subscribed. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that sub button. Help me get to 100K subs. I also wanted to let you guys know I am holding a giveaway for two 1000 Apex coin gift cards on my Twitter. I'll make sure to link that down below if you guys wanna go ahead and enter. But that's all for this video. Make sure to comment down below if you guys knew about this or you guys are going to be using this. But it's been your boy Seth Lee and I'm out.